Hi guys, we all come back to another video of mine and today we have another unboxing video and this is of course the Providence Gundam by Devil Arts so yeah, um, I bought these Devil Arts from a different supplier rather than my usual supplier which is Gundam Mania I, brought I bought from this supplier uh, his name is OMG Oh my Gundam <laughs> it's kind of a funny name but yeah, he's a reliable supplier um, as well as I bought from this is my second purchase from him my first purchase was the Kao Kao Sinanju so yeah and I've still yet to complete the reviews videos so, anyway let's get back here so yeah I bought this for 125 ringgit um, if you ask me uh, regarding the price range I would say if it could postage mine was 15 ringgit so add up all together total I paid for was 140 ringgit so I would say maybe 140 ringgit to 150 ringgit the price range I guess including postage so yeah here is the video so now let's have a look and again this um, Providence Gundam um, as you guys can see here Providence um, the original color edition there are some details that they add as well as the color uh, changes if I'm not mistaken the color the, the very first Providence Gundam by Devil Arts I did not purchase that rather I purchased um, this version I believe this version the color is slightly darker so yeah if I'm not mistaken anyway so yep anyway here is the box art as you guys I'm not sure you guys can really see the whole thing so yeah it's kind of go up and down I do my best to fit everything the whole frame so you guys can see here the side here it says special and limited version of Providence and you guys can see if I'm not mistaken, this design uh, would be the backpack of the Providence. So yeah, and then here it says here by Devil Arts Ink Studio and Triangle Head. And of course, according to this supplier, um, it says that this might actually be the last production by Devil Arts, which I think it, which I think is a shame because um, when I watch the review, other reviewers on the Devil Arts, the very first Devil Arts review, everyone have a very positive review on them since this is being their first kit release so it will be kind of sad if they stop producing future kits because yeah I mean they did a very good job on the first kit as well I hopefully this this will be my first experience with Devil Arts so yeah anyway here at the side you guys can see again it's just the same not not much um, difference I would say and as well as not much uh, a box art more or less doesn't really show the product so yeah, it says here Providence, the original color edition, special and limited version, Devil Arts and Ink Studio and Triangle Head presents. I mean, yeah, presents. And here you guys see made in China and here's some um, uh, warnings. And then here it says Devil Arts and Ink Studio presents blah blah blah. Special thanks Mr. Sun Kaka, Mr. Akira and Mr. Keen, including action base. So I guess this three person is the one who actually designed the Providence. So kudos to them. Hopefully, all three of them will be, um, you know, collaborate again and create more awesome kits for us. So as, as you guys can see here, the Devil Arts, the logo. And then basically here is just the same. And at the bottom here, surprisingly, uh, usually all the China the all the China brands for Gunpla they added some box art. But this time around, Dev Arts did not do that. So yeah, it's a rather simple presentation, which I would appreciate, of course. Very simple. So yeah, now let's get into what the contents it have in the box. When so, I mean, might as well just show you guys. So when I open up, it's like this. You guys can see the Providence here, and you guys can really see like lots of uh, sheets of stickers. So yeah, let me get back to you guys, and I'll show the runners first, and then back to the manual. Hi guys, welcome back. So after taking uh, several minutes to remove all the plastic, we are finally finally now ready to head on to look at the parts. So let's go. Our very first part we have. Our very first part we have this part over here. We have a total of two part two of the same parts. So guys, I'm not really sure what to show you guys. Maybe this one you guys can see here, sort of like shooting out the shooting out the effect part, I guess. And then here you guys can see sort of like the screw, you know here turn the screws everything. So yeah, nothing really much, just you have two parts of this. Now head on to another part. So the next part here of course, the main highlight would be the shield. No, backpack, my mistake, I'm sorry, my words. So yeah, let me just show you guys some details over here. I would say it actually looks pretty good. Um, 
but if I really want to pen the line, it will be uh, quite difficult. But yeah, and then here you guys can see this is the part where the beam effect, the uh, yeah the beam effect part will come out. So yeah, this the this I would say the hand over here where you mount on side here. So yep, and then here you guys can see the other part of the backpack. Um, again, looks very detailed. You guys can really see all the details in it. So let's have a look at the back. Again, uh, I'm not sure how this thing would fit, but based on the size over here as well as this size, it kind of looks like it can fit um, without needing to do too much of a modification, which I hope that's the case. So yeah, here one part, second part done. Now let's look at the another part. So the next part over here, we have the F part. Um, this part more or less kind of all grey, so really not much detail to show you guys. But I guess this part over no this part over here more or less is the legs. So yeah, again not much detail. So let's just move on. Here we have another grey piece. Um, this round part, of course, it looks it should be the part that we we, we will be using on the shield. And then here, uh, it would be the the armor, the body armor, the lower part there, if I'm not mistaken. And then here you guys can see this 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 is the body, this is the body. And then here you guys can see the tube. Right here is the body, here is the top part of the sort of like the head over there, the top part of the head. And here you guys can see the skirt armor over here, and then this looks like one of the head part over here, down here. So yeah, another grey part is gone. So next here we have a uh, lighter grey kind of thing. So yeah, here is the skirt armor, this should be the front, this should be at the back. Right here, let me just bring it closer. Here guys, we see here's the mouthpiece over here, and then here's the V fin of course. Um, hopefully, um, I won't bend the V fin, and it kind of feels kind of light. So when I cut it out, I will need to be really careful not to use too much force. And then here, of course, you guys can see it would definitely be the legs, and then yeah, that's really it. Next part here, this would definitely put onto the neck of the gunpla, and then this part would definitely be the body in front there, the yellow piece. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Now let's move on to another part, which is this blue color piece over here. So yeah, let me just focus. And then here definitely is the front. Here of course is the back. And then the rest, we shall have a look. Again, here you guys can see the leg piece over here. And then this part, um, this part should be the shoulder armor, the part there. So yeah, another one, blue piece is done. Blue is done, let's head down to the red. So of course red is usually symbolizes the legs. Then, oh my god, look at this part over here, so scary. Not sure you guys can really see. But I literally thought this part here is a, uh, what do I say, a broken piece. But thank god it's not, it's actually two pieces here over here. Once this one definitely is the mouth, the top here is, I don't know what is it, it's just one piece over here. So yeah, and then here is of course the body. And then yeah, the rest is just there. So I must make sure this piece be placed properly it do not fall off and then next year we have the guns the large very large um, beam rifle so yeah you guys can see here is it a beam rifle or I should say a mega bazooka more or less so yeah this more or less is the for the gun for it for the providence so yeah so maybe you guys want to have a closer look on the details not sure you guys can focus yeah let's hope it is then yeah, just like that. So maybe you guys want to have a look at the back. So yeah, very simple grey color piece over here. Next stop over here, we have another light grey. This is the side skirt, I pretty, I'm pretty, i quite sure it is. And then this, I guess, would be the legs, the both sides of the leg. So maybe, I think this legs actually quite detailed. So yeah, you guys want to have a look. You guys can see again the panel line here. And yeah, that's really that. Next part over here, we have um, sort of like a base, but if I'm not mistaken, they do not have the manual for it. So I'm kind of curious how I'm going to build it. But yeah, nonetheless, you guys can see here, let me be quiet and you guys hear like there are actually quite a lot of parts. So yeah, I do not, I do not want to lose it, so I did not take out the plastic. I decided just, um, you know, keep it for it. So let me just put it down. And next, we have more plastic parts to see. Here I did not remove the plastic as well, as you guys can see, these are all the um, effect parts. This, the blue color part where the 
what do I call that? The funnels will run out. So yeah, and then here would be the beam effect part for the weapon. Beam effect, yeah, beam effect, beam saber part, I should say. So yeah, there are total of one, two, three, four, five effect parts for you, as in the runners. So yeah, another effect part done. Next here, it's more of the grey color piece. So this part definitely, I'm not sure you guys can see, definitely would be used for the funnels. So yeah, again, it's small piece, so I do not want to remove the plastic. Next here, we have the polycaps. I'm not sure if both of them are identical. Okay, both of them are not identical. You just have two smaller um, polycaps. So yep, just like that. Next here, we have the hands. Um, as I can see over here, all of these hands are fixed posts, so which I really appreciate it because it makes everything much more easier as well as you don't have to interchange I believe all of them have their own parts of it so yeah that's really it next part over here another grey piece for the funnels so yeah we're basically done with all the parts the final one I want to show you guys of course is stickers we have a really huge sticker piece they are total of one two three four five six and then you have providence over here this i believe will be used for the base just now because it suits the size of it this is one two three four five six six is hexagon is it uh, i don't want to make a fool of it myself but yeah six parts of it so it's really it let me just put it down and then here you have i'm not really sure why but you have two you have a total of four eyes over here the sticker and then over here you guys can see there's two for you and inside there is all the water slide decals as you guys know i rarely put water slide decals but maybe if i change my mind or something i might do it so basically all the parts here are done let's move on to the manuals so now we move on to the final part of the video which is the manual over here so as you guys can see the manual is the same as the box art the design i should say so yeah next you guys can see these three studios i have not heard i mean devil arts of course is the production for the providence but ink studio as well as triangle head i've not heard of the brand so maybe i shall do some research and yeah if there's a lot of information or products that have been produced beforehand maybe i'll make a different video on what are the things that they've done so yeah anyway let's move on to the runners count over here so there are total of one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Runners, uh, sorry I have to pause just now. Uh, I've kinda need, I kind of need to cough a bit because my throat is very dry from talking too much. Anyway, let's proceed back here. Oh, by the way, here, you guys can see the Zaf logo. For the providence as well as here the design i guess and then here's just some warning and then here's our recycle and everything so yeah so first part of the banner of course as always we will do with the head first and then after that we will move on to the uh, body and here body is done then we will move on to the skirt so you guys can see here the skirt over here and then here is the legs yeah it's the legs so yeah and then to here so two legs of it and then here we shall move on to the shoulder armor as well as the hands so yeah it's practically um, very simple and then here is behind here is the butt if i'm not mistaken the back of it and then here of course is the shield here of course again the shield over here shield over here and then here there are total of okay this like i mentioned um before that beforehand i think it's the first runner the screw part it will be used to put on the onto the backpack so yeah and then here of course you guys can see pretty cool they draw everything the effect part over here and then we have here um, again i don't know what you call that mega bazooka or something like that or mega rifle mega bazooka rifle huh, i don't know what's that called and then here of course you guys can see here you can remove everything i oh, know not really remove but uh, put everything in together to form the gun plug. and then here you guys can see the effect part you guys can see it, m2 m4 m4 m2 m4 so there is sort of a specific effect part for each of the funnels so yeah it's good to see and then the back here as well you can shoot up and then here yeah, kind of simple like the comic 
and it says here Sui Tie Zi Tu Jing, I guess. Um, it's basically, of course, Sui uh Sui Tie Zi means basically the water decal. So yeah, and then here it says um the other side, um where are the other water decals you can put? I'm interested to put all the Zaf um water decal. So yeah, I'll do that, I guess. And here are more water decals on the weapons. Of course, here is a shield. Here, of course, the backpack again. Here, you guys can see the dragoon system. The first dragoon system uh, rings the bell of um, strike freedom as well. It's also known as dragoon system as well. So, yeah. And that's really it for the manual. And as I feared as well, um, they do not give you instructions on how you build the base. So, yeah, maybe I need to go on to the internet to seek for reference, I guess. So yeah, that's really it for this um, unboxing video for Devil Arts, the final version, or you say the real Providence You Never Know by Devil Arts Studio. So yeah, I'll be really anticipated to build this kit as you guys, uh, yeah, this is the final version of it and it's my first Providence kit. So yeah, I guess today it's the end of the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this unboxing video. If you guys have enjoyed watching this unboxing video, please do not forget to drop a like, uh, share to your friends, anyone whom they may seem interested in. And of course, um, subscribe to me if you haven't too because there will be more videos like this coming soon. Figure reviews, gunpla reviews, um, news, uh, news, basically news, or maybe some new videos that I try out you might like. So yeah, I guess that's really it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Again, again, if you guys have enjoyed, please do not forget to drop a like. And while you're down there, please do not forget to comment as well. Uh, maybe how I can improve my content of the video. Uh, whatever questions you have for me. Uh, yeah, basically any questions you have, you can just leave it. And yeah, and so don't forget to subscribe to me as well. So yeah, I think that's really it more, more or less. So yeah, I hope you guys really have enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys have a very good day and I'll see you guys in another video.